done with what it. What is that? <laughs> you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? However, these cloud knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones... Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate! Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. Ugh... <sighs> I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mama dad required. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Things haven't been very peaceful in the Lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> ...go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. <sighs> well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Ha! Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. That's... the best I can do. What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. 
What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. He only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? It goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. My first time seeing these symptoms up close, being stricken with Mara is more terrible than I imagine. I heard the Vidyadara Dragon Lady is here. Maybe she can help stem the tide. Hurry! Find beds for the patients from the other delves and stabilize them. Remember to minimize contact. We don't want your people to succumb to the same evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Realm Keeping Commission is out in full strength. What about the Alchemy Commission? Why are there so few of you here? Do you mean... out in full force? Hey, Missy, does this look like a classroom to you? Concentrate on treating the patients. Hurry. Find beds for the patients from the... Remember to minimize con... Yeah, yeah. Do you mean... Hey, Missy, does this... Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Oh, uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the Commission can deliver them to your door. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. Oh, you must be an outsider. I see. Please sign here. I heard there's a problem with their Meridian pin. Some diviners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. I want to say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. When will this end? When it rains, it pours. The Artisanship Commission has its own issues. It sounds serious, too. Go and inform the Cloud Knights. See if you can... Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Judging by your dress, you must be visitors to the Law Fu. <laughs> and I'm a civil servant. The General hired me. Technically speaking, every traveler aboard the Law Fu is a guest of the General. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been... Uh, temporarily suspended. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a Starskiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is... fair and negotiable. What do you think? Hmm. Very well. I still have business to attend to. If you change your mind, come to me anytime. Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed.
You don't remember? You dealt with those Mara-struck knights in the nick of time. I saw it all. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General commissioned guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Chingcha, we'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Chingchua. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, hi there. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! Uh, but folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real Exalting Sanctum and introduce you to a true CM Joe pastime, Celestial Jade! Ha -ha! Victory! <laughs> <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. It's great fun. Sure. Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not 
that? Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? Exactly. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. Cultured people love I don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor clean to your star skips? We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. You may be the Master Diviner's guest, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... Please, don't push her buttons. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. The moon shines on the truth. Sounds like more bit. Huh? <laughs> Tedious. A blade of moonlight. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Try this on for size. Ready for. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with the outcome. So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand, it's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests! Are you really from the Divination Commission? Don't scare me! Master Diviner wouldn't let anything bad happen on her watch. There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Here it is. You seem familiar. Is this where you come to avoid doing work? You're pretty sharp. Divination Commission staff call this the Loafing Gate. When there's nothing to do, we often sneak out from here and spend a few hours lazing around outside. A few hours? 
<sighs> Do you have any vacancies? Ugh, the Stellaron corrosion. What's going on? Great, this gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Jinju for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss ching -Chi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, uh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Mr. Yang, you handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. Uh, anyone here surprised? Anyone? Here comes trouble. Run around to them for a change? What are you waiting for? 
the customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. <laughs> Now's my chance. Relax, deep breaths. Nice teamwork. I'm on guard. Indestructible. Like more business knocking. Bleeding huh, huh. light, glory, flood. A blade of moonlight. Reach the end of the story in your own way. The moon shines on the truth. What was that? Sampo Koski. <laughs> A blade of moonlight. In lunar flame. We're just having fun. Try this on for size. <laughs> Target specimen sighted. Preparing for collection. Time for something savory. I owe you one. Do not concern yourself with the outcome. <laughs> <laughs>